Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful day, wherever you are and whatever it is you are doing whilst either listening or watching this. Today, we're going to talk about a massive opportunity that I believe Web3 presents. Uh, we're going to be talking about not only an altcoin, but an entire industry that is being transformed and potentially taken over um, with the dawn of Web3. Now, we know Web2, the internet, was exceptionally disruptive. It revolutionized and changed the entire world, but really it shook industries to their core um, and modernized them, changed them, made them more efficient. And ultimately, some of the biggest companies in the world came out of that evolution of Web2, the internet, um, and found a real product fit, a real use case that they sought to um, revolutionize with the dawn of the internet. Now, Web3 is exceptionally similar. We are going to be talking about an industry that is set to reach $1.6 trillion by 2023, that this altcoin is looking to absolutely revolutionize and is actually far superior to the current Web2 um, infrastructure that we have for this colossal use case that is set to grow with the evolving um, technological world that we are now in. Things are coming more and more um, digitalized. Um, and this industry and this altcoin, I believe, are going to do very well. Now, this is just my own opinion. Do not take this as financial advice. But this is an altcoin that I think we should be paying attention to. Without further ado, let's go ahead and reveal the altcoin. It is, dun, 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 Filecoin. Filecoin, I believe, is a huge opportunity. And we're going to be explaining why that is in this video. So right now, cloud computing is on track to become a one6 Yes, I said that correctly. $1.6 trillion industry. Right now in 2023, we are sat at over $524 billion as a market. Decentralized crypto projects such as Filecoin offer a more secure, cheaper, more resistant to censorship solution to this huge market. Filecoin is a decentralized network designed to store humanity's most important information. Filecoin is a decentralized storage protocol that allows anyone to rent out access storage space on their computer and receive cryptocurrency fill, in this case, which of course is Filecoin's native token, rewards in return. Filecoin today sits at $3.37 and has a market cap of $1.4 billion. Amazon is sitting at as of today, at $1.38 trillion in market cap and generated through their web services a whopping $80 billion in revenue and close to $23 billion in operating fees in 2022. So you can see this is a huge market and that is just one company that is involved in this market. Now, I'm not saying Filecoin's market cap is going to get to $1.3 trillion, um, but I think it's going to do well and we're going to get into that in this video. So right now, Web3 has a big problem, and it's data storage. Now, many of you may not know some of the things that we're about to go into in regards to NFTs, gaming, and everything in between. Um, today, 3.0 quintillion bytes of data every day are generated in Web3. So that's within the crypto space. And there are estimates that with the rise of blockchain, crypto, metaverse, NFTs, and everything in between, this is expected to grow 20x from here. So this is the annual size of global data sphere. And you can see that this is set to grow to uh, zettabytes, which is um, unfathomable, I think, for uh, many. So a blockchain is essentially just a database of sorts. A ledger, I think, is more of an accurate representation, but they can only hold, believe it or not, small amounts of information, and it's very costly data to store on a blockchain. Most of them, at least most of them anyway, some of them are significantly cheaper and are coming up with sort of in-house solutions to this, but they are still drastically more expensive and less cost-efficient than the likes of Filecoin. A good example and this is a pretty crazy example, is to store a mobile phone photo, so it could be an iPhone photo, on Ethereum could cost up to $120,000. It's a very expensive problem to solve, which is why Filecoin, within not only the Web3 world, but within um, the world in general of data storage and cloud computing, is solving a massive 
use case, and we'll compare the two Web 2 and Web 3 options. So as a result of this, a good amount of Web 3 assets, such as NFTs, are not actually even stored on a blockchain and instead hosted on centralized servers such as Amazon Web Services, AWS. This goes against the very principles of many blockchains out there. And you can see here, this is a, um, a representation. You've got your digital wallets, owner's address, gets sent to the blockchain. Uh, NFT metadata is stored, and then the NFT um, is actually linked to a third-party server, uh, which is rather interesting um, considering this sort of decentralized movement. So Filecoin is looking to solve this issue. Differing from traditional data cloud providers like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon that not only own but control customer data, decentralized solutions like Filecoin provide hosts of data on a network of individually owned computers spread across the globe. This is a visual representation of how this works. You have a user device. The user pays a miner to store Filecoin. So it's similar it's a sim Bitcoin really opened Pandora's box and it has been the kind of forte to many um, industries changing forever in regards to decentralization, not just being a gimmick, but being actually useful um, for things like data storage, one example that we're looking at today. Um, essentially, in the same way that a miner validates the Bitcoin network, Filecoin uses miners to validate that data is actually being stored and there's, and there's proof on it. And we'll, and we'll get into how it does all of that. So the user pays a miner to store their file. Miner commits publicly via Filecoin's blockchain to storing the file. The network constantly verifies that the miners are storing files correctly. Um, and then the user pays miner to retrieve their file back again. And this is the kind of circle of life of Filecoin. The benefits to this data storage uh, option are lower costs. It's cheaper than centralized options. No pain, no pain points, so no single point of failure. The data is backed up by multiple participants, and of course, it is censorship resistance. And we know we're living in an increasingly censored world. This is Filecoin data storage versus Amazon Web Services. I do apologize for the resolution of this picture, uh, and it's also an old one, but this gives you a rough estimate. This is Filecoin's price, and at the time of recording this, it was $185. It's now... $3. So the price of uh, GIB per month on Amazon Web Services is 0 0.013 cents. So it's basically a penny or, or a cent in this case to store um, uh, GIB. The price of GIB per month on Filecoin is 0 0.000052 cents. So it is to the orders of magnitude cheaper than Amazon Web Services. So in order for something to revolutionize an industry, it has to be better than it. And decentralized storage and Filecoin is a better service than Amazon from a price point of view, certainly. Um, so Filecoin at costs relative to Amazon Web Services is 0.38892%. Uh, how many more GIBs can you store with Filecoin related to Amazon Web Services? 257. Price of Filecoin if data storage costs were equivalent to Amazon Web Services. Have it at, wow, wait for this, guys. Um, 47,786. Now, the supply has gone up significantly since then. This, are, this was actually published in 2021 by James uh, Duady. Um, but this gives you a rough idea of just how much more efficient it is from a price point of view. Talking about um, resilience and reliability, the decentralized aspect of it gives it that resilience and reliability. Amazon service outage makes some websites go dark. Amazon web services restored after widespread outage in the US. Amazon cloud services back up after big outage hits thousands of users. Amazon web services are back online. Four hour outage knocked out hundreds of websites. This is an issue when you are running and looking to store data or um, computing services that are life dependent, like Tesla's cars, for example, which you know uh, decentralization is uh, for storage is is a huge option. Amazon denies reports that it will um, proactively moderate content on its hosting services. Parler's deplatforming shows the exceptional power of cloud providers like Amazon. So it is cheaper, censorship resistant, and more resilient. 
So right now on Filecoin, it offers decentralized solutions for storing, audio and video clips, metaverse and gaming, parameter storage solutions, any Web3 asset, and NFTs. And it does all that in a far cheaper and more efficient manner than the current Web2 options. NFT storages, as mentioned earlier, most NFTs are not stored on chain, only the URLs, so basically the links, that direct you to them are. With Filecoin, it allows projects to store the actual asset for free and without centralized issuers. They currently have more than 30,000 customers, including the likes of OpenSea, um, Marketplace, and a number of others like Rarible, trusted by over 30,000 uh, plus users. Um, so very impressive about their NFT storage. Talks about the uh, use of local IPFs, which we'll get into in just a second. It's very, very impressive. Um, everything Web3 storage, so you can store pretty much anything in Web3. Filecoin cleverly designed its Web3 storage to address storage and infrastructure needs of Web3's developers. It already has got 20,000 users and more than 40 million stored objects and inked partnerships um, such as Solana and Polygon. Recently, this year, Filecoin became a blockchain platform compatible with Ethereum apps. And also an extension of this is anything EVM, which is the largest programming language within the blockchain space. So anything EVM, any apps, any other blockchains that are compatible with this Filecoin um, can essentially be, um, you know, work with for now. And they're looking to onboard lots of different languages. So how does Web3 storage work? Developers can start building in a matter of minutes, allowing them to take advantage of all the powers of openness and decentralized web with none of the infrastructure complexity. Uh, behind the scenes of web3.storage is backed up by Filecoin and makes content available via IPFs, um, leveraging the unique properties of each network. It then talks about IPFS is, which we'll cover in a bit more detail. Um, offer content addressing, enabling developers to create immutable links to their content and flexibility for developers in how they'd like to retrieve their data, whether it be running personal nodes, relying on public infrastructure or paying for hosted options. And then it talks a bit about Filecoin. Storing things permanently. So there's a solution now to store, store things forever. Filecoin has a permanent storage solution known as Lighthouse. It implements a crypto economic incentive to allow users to pay once a stored data, uh, once a stored data forever. Did you know that 98% of links disappear after 20 years? 20 years may seem like a long time, but in the grand scheme of things, how long really is that? Talk about companies that are here for hundreds and potentially thousands of years moving into the future. Store files permanently, um, perpetual storage by decentralized web, easily store and secure your data. And this is Lighthouse and you can come and check this. Um, out. So you've also got Filecoin uh, caters to metaverse and gaming, something that is set to grow massively and engulf all our lives, according to the World Economic Forum that perhaps want it to go that way so they can keep you as serfs. Just my own opinion. Um, let's go into a bit more detail on how Filecoin actually works. So Filecoin relies on a decentralized and distributed network of computers known as the Interplanetary File System to host customer data. Unlike traditional storage systems, the IPFs is not owned by any one party. So this, again, has massive benefits. Decentralization is not just a gimmick. You can see this is the Filecoin process that we've already looked at. This is another schematic of it. Data input request with file. You then get a miner that essentially will um, put up mining power and they'll bid to store the data. This can be in the form of HDDs, CPUs, GPUs, and SSDs, um, and also motherboards if you want to go a little bit back, and RDIMMs. That data is fragmented, encrypted, and stored. Client is given the only existing file key. That's where we get the, the you know a little bit of the name file file coin. Uh, the data is recorded in the blockchain's IFPSs. 
you then have um, the miners getting paid at points. You can actually contribute to this if you want to. We'll look at that in just a second. Um, you then get data retrieve request, powerful uh, processors again, and then it comes back to the user. So it's very, very interesting. You've got centralized systems over here in A. You've got your users. You've got the systems, Hofi's service, e.g. Google Drive or whatever it may be. And then this is IPFSs. IPFSs are file coins, uh, or sorry, use file coins native token, Phil. The use cases for Phil are, and these are just two, there is another one, to use the network, customers pay storage providers in Phil. To retrieve data, users also pay fees in Phil. So there's many tokens out there that don't actually have a use case, and they're just used as kind of funding mechanisms. However, Filecoin truly does, and it's truly trying to solve a um industry uh, that is is going to be transformed by the revolution of web3 so in order to become a storage provider and join filecoin network providers must put up collateral in filecoin also and show consistency proof of replication providers show proof that they have encoded and stored the data request proof of space time providers show proof that they continue to host the data so there are, of course, um, requirements, as you'd expect, for the uh, data storers. Filecoin aims to be a full-stack cloud service provider and competitor to Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, and Apple. Right now, however, they are very focused on decentralized storage networks, but it will end up offering compute also. Huge. The market share is particularly dominated by four main companies at the moment in regards to cloud infrastructure. Of course, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Alibaba, and then you've got 33% is other sort of smaller, but it's mainly these four players. Pay attention, pause the video, write these down if you need to. Decentralized storage markets. Currently, Filecoin has a 46% share. You've got BitTorrent, which some of you not, may not be familiar with, with a 20% share. Arweave, which we've also mentioned, which is 11% share. And then you've got Sire Network, which is a 5% share, and Storage, which is a 4% share. That You do have others, um, but Filecoin is currently the leader in this um, network. Filecoin is the largest and most used decentralized storage network provider. It boasts over 80% market share um, when measured by storage usage, if that makes sense. Let's move on. Right now, Filecoin has over 500 partners. These are some of them. They are growing at a rapid rate and I believe are going to continue to go. So they will evolve with the space and grow with it. Filecoin was founded with IPFs in 2017 by Joanne Bennett, and they are both part of Protocol Lab. So that's the parent company, kind of like the Algorand Foundation behind Algorand, that sort of thing. Uh, they have over 100 plus members um, in their team. Let's look a little bit at some Filecoin tokenomics. There is a max supply of 2 billion tokens. The current supply is 443 million. And you may be thinking, well, that's only a quarter of the supply. But Filecoin may never actually reach the total supply. And it's complicated how the issuance, i.e. inflation, works. You can see these are the stats over here. Um, it's a $1.4 billion market cap. The price currently sits at $3.34. Um, and there is roughly one quarter of the supply out there, which may alarm some people, but we'll get into that. Around about 15% of the supply is locked up in reserves and only can be voted to unlock. You can see this is the mining reserves. The majority has already been distributed. Um, and then you've got storage mining allocation to, of course, reward the miners. To issue the 2 billion max token supply, Filecoin would need to re reach one Yota byte of capacity in the next 20 years, which is 1,000 times larger than the total cloud storage market today. Not that likely, but not out of the realms of possibility to get to its max issuance in the next 20 years. Filecoin is both deflationary and inflationary, so there's a bit more complication to it. It burns a good amount of tokens each day for transaction fees, and you can see this is the uh, Filecoin circulating supply and how... Um, it's kind of been distributed thus far. Some have estimated 
Um, the total supply will only get to 5 million in the next 10 years based on projected monthly network growth and projected verified storage. But that could change. That is just an estimate. Could Filecoin capture 20% of the overall market share? It's not impossible as Web3 is as transformative as the internet, i.e. Web2. And just like the internet modernized and revolutionized the data storage space forever, so will blockchain and Web3. If we did reach that $1.6 trillion valuation for the entire industry and market by 2023, or 2030, I should say, sorry, uh, which is $1.6 trillion, that would put Filecoin at an implied market cap of over 200 billion if it captured 20% of the overall industry with a 20% market share of data storage market. Um, with 10%, it would give it over a $100 billion market cap and with 5% over a $60 billion market cap, theoretically. That's without all the uh, hype and speculation. Remember, things often get pretty crazy. Currently, it has a market cap of 1.4 billion. So even if it captured 5% or 2%, going off of these figures and where it's expected to go over the next sort of five, six, seven years, you know, Filecoin would have a pretty good 30, 40 with, with, with two or so percent uh, billion dollar market cap. And with more than that, it would have significantly um, more. Um, and that's, you know, I think very impressive and offers a realistic investment opportunity. Right now, they estimate that Amazon Web Services could be worth between $500 billion to $3 trillion eventually. So Amazon could cloud unit on course. Um, do forgive me for that, guys. For a $3 trillion value, value Redburn says, um, and it talks, this is uh, an article from last year, but it talks about the growth of this. Um, you know, if, if you have a decentralized, more efficient network, you know, could capture quite a bit of, and this is just one company's market share. So it's time to put your radar on Filecoin. And on that note, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, it's always a pleasure. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. What do you think about Filecoin? Can you see why we're highlighting it and why we're talking about it um, as a potential investment? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you and I'll see you all in the next video.